reefs are a major support system for marine life. However, these life forms are being threatened by global warming and pollution. A campaign in Kuwait is helping save coral reefs in the Persian Gulf from man-made pollution and aquatic disease. We get more from Kuwait TV. A campaign to rescue the coral reefs of Kuwait was launched with the participation of around 82 divers working with scientists and experts to rid the reefs of accumulated litter which poses a danger not only to divers but is also harmful to the coral reefs and the aquatic environment. The campaign was divided into several phases. Rescue 1 was dedicated to Umm Al Maradam Island, Rescue 2 at Garo Island and Rescue 3 for Kubbar Island. Several organizations participated in the effort, including Kuwait Oil Company, which provided the heavy equipment, the Ministry of Health providing ambulance boats, besides the Kuwait dive team, which is recognized for its continuous environmental efforts. Tons of debris were lifted from under the water, including pipes and heavy metals, as well as ammunition left by the Iraqi invading troops before they were evicted in 1991. <laughs> A large vessel was also lifted in a huge salvage operation. Three barges and 120 tons of lifting power were needed to raise the 250-ton, 40-meter barge. The divers who took part in the rescue effort said the significance of the operation was not just to clean the coral reefs from harmful wastes, but also to increase the awareness of the people of the importance of the environment. The sea is a part of Kuwait's heritage and is very important in the life of Kuwaitis. It has been the source of life for years and will be a source of pride forever. I am Najwa Asran, reporting for the CNN World Report from Kuwait.